Well, that's not a metal detecting fine, and it isn't ice. It's actually a piece of broken glass. Um, yeah, I just saw it on the surface here. So I'm going to take that, get rid of that so that nobody hurts themselves. That's awful. Moving on. Well, I don't know what I just found. Something kind of interesting. Well, I don't know if it's actually interesting or not. I don't know if there's something on the outside of that pattern or not. Probably not. I think it's some kind of, of draw, pull, draw handle. It has a thread on it. Yeah. Okay. Something a bit different. Little relic. Moving on. Okay, so I'm in this area where it's like cleared woodland at the moment. They've cut everything out. And uh, that's my first signal, but that's high. 89, 90. It's so safe not too big and not too deep so fingers uh, okay do you see it aluminious canis hmm, might not be aluminium Dirtiest canvas, that much is for sure. Okay, so the boy, you guys, moving on. Okay, so there's a lot of history in these woods. Just in this hole here, I found the edge of something and look at that. Make sure there's nothing left from the buckle in there. Have to be careful. That, that's a piece of it. Okay. I think. Not sure. I'll check that in a moment. Wow. Okay. It still has part of it in there. I'll have a look in the hole, see if I can find anything else from it. But it's a um, colonial shoe buckle. Wow. Didn't expect to find that today. Very cool. I'll clean that up later. I think it's missing part of it. There would be like a tongue and shape, I think they're called, and part of it's missing. But I'll have a look in the hole. Um, very exciting find. Anyway, I'm on the timer today. Got to keep moving. Well, that was an awful signal. I always check around fallen logs every time I come across one. And this one came out, but it's it's already falling apart look at the aluminium in it is um yes yeah, it's, it's totally degrading there is a serial number in there okay i don't think that's a knife that i can resurrect look how it's bulged out here yeah. yeah, i think that's gone beyond but it is on my points list so I'm happy to find that okay how are you getting on by the way over there in Australia my friend have you found loads of silver coins already have you found treasure anyway let me know how you're getting on hang, hang on what's that what hey 
Ah, hello Switzerland and Nathaniel Outdoor Adventure. And your 12 points go to, oh no, sorry, that was an application for Eurovision. Sorry, um, you asked how I was going with the challenge. Well, I'm going quite well, thank you, Nathaniel. I've already got uh, what I believe to be a gold ring. I definitely have a silver coin, so thank goodness you didn't put the moz on me for that. And uh, I've got some interesting bits and pieces. Thimbles, buttons, buckles. I have a teaspoon, so there's my utensil. So I'm going really well. And we'll see what we can get out of all this down here. It'll be quite interesting. Anyway, I hope you're going well. And I, I you know... I hope you're finding some really good and interesting stuff. We'll talk to you later. Well, I can honestly say that's something I've never found before. Well, it's an empty um, wrapper from a, a, some kind of like house. It's supposed to be a health bar. And then this, which was what was giving the signal off, which is a traveling toothbrush. I guess the tube is metal. Um, and a full thing of toothpaste. Yeah, okay. Well, cool. Have another short handled toothbrush. Not quite the one that our dog uses, but yeah. That's a strange find. Okay. Moving on. Well, it gets weirder. Um, just by here was the uh, uh, that tube with the, the toothbrush and toothpaste in it. And just by here, pretty much next to it, is a tub of Nivea cream. Uh, somebody came in the woods with a full kit for, uh, yeah, whatever. No idea. Okay, moving on. Well, it happened again. Doesn't make any difference to my points, but um, check that out. Another shoe buckle. If you could hear that bird in the background, I love the sound of the uh, buzzards cry. I think it's a buzzard. Yeah. So the central piece is missing, which is not unusual for these. Does it have pattern on it, is the question. I can't really clean it up here. I'll have to take that home. Yeah, number two. Very cool. Moving on. Just found my first, but hopefully not my last coin of this hunt. I'm sure the coffee bush kid will find a, a load of coins. It's definitely a coin. The question is, what is it? Uh, Yeah, that's um, covered in mud, that's for sure. Trying to get the worst of it. I might have to take that home and clean it. Yeah. Not sure about that one because it's, um, it looks to me to be a copper coin is either an older Swiss coin um, or it's a foreign coin. Well, I'm going to save the suspense for you and for me until later. Moving on. Just a moment in the woods. I know there's a buzzy chainsaw in the background. There's also a lot of birds. 
so beautiful here on the snow it's otherwise very peaceful <laughs> okay moving on well i can see something and my first impression was something good but now i'm not so sure can you see for a moment there I thought that might have been a ring, but I can see there's more to it now. Okay. So what do we have? Uh, hmm. That looks like electrical connections to something. Oh, it's a Mayan pyramid on top. No, oh, you can't see. Sorry, guys. Yeah, look, Mayan pyramid. Whoa. No, don't think so. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Well, um, yeah, sorry guys, my imagination, moving on. I don't think this is anything special, guys, but just in case, thought it would bring you in. I mean, yeah. Uh -huh. okay well it is a ring it's definitely a ring but it, it's got numbers on it so i'm guessing that that's some kind of bird ring but that's pretty big for a bird ring but there are several numbers on it okay Interesting. Moving on. It's a very solid 31 right on the surface there. Now, I would guess that's a coin, but I'm not sure. So let's find out together. It's not as on the surface as I thought. It's not deep. And it's not a coin. Okay. Not my day for coins, that's for sure. Some really interesting relics, but that's another of these lemon tea lights. Okay. Moving on. What do you reckon? Is that a coin ball? No, it's a bullet ball. <laughs> uh, okay. An unfired 22. Moving on. Oh, that's a funny find. It's, um, Football tube for blowing up footballs. Yeah, don't think that's on my list. Okay, weird. Moving on. So my next find is a pocket find. There are other brands available. I'm not advertising them. Yeah, so I'm going to take care of this pocket find. Put it somewhere safe. And I'll be back with you in the next good signal. Okay, everyone. Well, I don't know what that is. So I thought I'd bring you guys in. Let's play the coin or button game. Co uh, button, sorry. Okay. Yeah. 
definitely a button. And it's a pretty old one too. But I shall leave the cleaning up of that till I get home. My next find is another button. Now it looks like there's something on that. It's a two-piece button. You see the shank's bent over. So this will need some cleaning up. But that could be something pretty interesting. Okay. Moving on. Well, that's been a rare sight for me today. A rim of some kind. Um, <laughs> well, okay, that's not been a rare sight for me today. That's another button. It's definitely a button day. MW Animations, if you're out there, you'd be happy with today. Oh, okay. On to the next. And a lovely pull tab to add to the collection. Cool. And I think that might be my first bottle cap for today. And I'm actually happy to see it. Because uh, it's worth points to me. <laughs> Funny how these things, having points attached to things changes the way you feel when you find a bottle cap. Woohoo! Found a bottle cap! Moving on. Now that little piece of almost junk might not be junk. It's just a broken piece, but it could be part of a kind of stogel, kind of stogel? I think that's what they're called, bell, type of bell by the looks of the rim and the shape. I think this is part of a bell. I'll have a look around and see if I can find any more. But another cool relic. And I think that's going to be probably my last find. I'm just going to walk out of the woods now towards the car. I've done my four hours and I don't know what kind of a bottle that is. It's kind of fitting having these palm trees with the snow in the background. Yeah, it's not glass. Anyway, I'll get rid of that. Moving on. Hey everyone, uh, this is the wrap-up video for my challenge against um, Andrew over at the Coffee Bush Kid. Um, yeah, he is, he's a real gentleman actually, that guy. Um, I think he's amazing and he's a tough challenge really. Um, don't know where I will be with that. There was lots of things that I found during uh, the hunt, but I, nothing, or at least I didn't think there was anything particularly amazing, but uh, especially at the beginning. But things did change. Lots of rubbish, lots of iron, lots of strange, weird pieces, like this one. Now, I'm starting to love this camera, actually. It really does a good job. It's a bit of time to focus sometimes. There's a thread with like a nipple on top. I have no idea. It's a very weird piece of iron. Uh, yeah, lots of other pieces of iron, lots of aluminium. That's the one thing us humans will be known for. Um, you know, in, in thousands of years when some alien civilization comes and discovers Earth. Um, all that will be left of us, I guess, will be the rubbish that we've left behind everywhere. And, uh, yeah, lots of it. Strange finds. You know, there was this case with a toothbrush and tooth uh, paste in it. And next to that was a tube of Nivea uh, cream. So some lady's been out in the woods. Uh, up to something, I guess. Ring pulls, pull tabs, uh, bottle caps. So bottle cap, I was really happy to see the bottle cap come up. Bullet also, 
point. Actually, plenty of bullets. Um, some interesting uh, pieces over here. This is an unfired, unfired round. Can't quite make out the the details on the back of it, but. Um, yeah, there are details there. I'll have to get a closer look at it. Um, as far as I know, a pistol bullet fired, unfired small round, 22, I think. Um, where do we go? Yes, look at this, uh, Mayan pyramid. Oh, I wasn't joking, really. Mayan pyramid, look at it. Yeah, it's some kind of electrical connection. Don't know what for. Um, a pocket knife, also very happy to find that. It's a, a very dead pocket knife, as you can see. It's uh, really bulging out. Um, all the aluminium is, is uh, degrading inside, so that's not so clever. Some very random, strange pieces. Loads of these. Um, Tea light holders, there's a tea light in there. You know, why do you go in the woods with tea lights? I don't know. I guess for a romantic moment. Um, piece of round ball shot, probably have a shotgun. Um, not too interesting, but this is a ring for an animal. Oh, and there's a hair in the background. Wow, this camera does pick up stuff. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's 1954. Um, is the date on it? So it's it's been around a while. Can you class that as animal bling? Is that is that a piece of bling jewelry? <laughs> no, don't think so. Um, I did find a, a rather nice snail shell. I'm going to clean that up. I'm going to make a mold out of it if I can, without breaking it, if that's possible and see if I can make a metal snail shell. Don't know. My imagination tends to get the better of me sometimes. A piece of what I think is a, a, a kind of Stogel bell. Um, yeah, it's really nicely made. My only coin, my one and only coin for today. Normally I find more coins, but today just wasn't my day. There's this lovely Swiss coin. Um, it's a one uh, Rappen coin, and this is 1936, I think. Perhaps I could see it better in the camera, actually, than what I can see with my eyes. This is new for me. Oh, no, it doesn't want to focus. Doesn't like that. Yeah, maybe. Let me see under my eyes. 1931, sorry. Um, this strange drawer pull. That was a cool item to find. Like it. Might find a use for it. A really nice button. Now, my guess is that's a military button. It's a two piece. Shank is still there but it's um, crushed in at the back. But I'm pretty sure that's a military button. And a couple more buttons, but there's nothing on those. They are um, flat buttons, but quite old. And these beautiful shoe buckles. The iron, part of the iron is still there, part of it's missing. Couldn't find the other bits to that. But I do love these. That's copper one, I think, or brass. Beautiful. What more could you ask for? Well, when you say that, what more could you ask for? How about another one? Now, this is unusual because it looked different to me. I found a lot of these greener ones, but this has some detail around the edge. And you can see there's some detail here. Then, turned it over, 
And I hope I've got that the right way up. And I hope my camera can get it. You see there? The VR. And I don't know if the camera can show it, but there's actually hole marks here. Uh, it doesn't look like much, but this is a silver buckle. Now I've never found one. So this is a first for me and I was not expecting that and I didn't realize it. I, the numbers were different. I, I must admit they're different to the other buckles I found, but yeah, that's a total shock for me. And she's a heavy piece of silver as well. Yeah, what can I say guys? Uh, I think that's it. I will count up the points, but I'm pretty sure he's got me beat on coins. Probably has me beat on the older one too. But um, what a hunt. Some really interesting relics coming up. And bird bling? No, probably not. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I will clean all the mess up now. And see you on the next one.